Uh. So today I want to be talking about a special product. It's not exactly a tech-related product. It's not a laptop. It's not a phone. But it's one of the most underrated products out there, and I absolutely love it. But I want to give you a quick backstory on how I came across this product and why I love it so much. This product is called Complete Anatomy, and the way I came across this was a few years ago, I went to the doctor and I wanted to find out how different parts of my body worked. The doctor tried to explain to me how it worked, but it wasn't enough for me. I wanted some sort of 3D visualization for the body part, how it worked, and I just wanted more information on that. So I, I just Googled it, but I couldn't find all the answers that I needed. And that's where I came across Complete Anatomy. And that was on the Mac store at the time a few years ago. I tried it and I was in awe. It was, it was just amazing. It's not just a human atlas. It's a complete educational platform, a human anatomy platform with so many cutting edge tools. Complete anatomy is the most advanced human atlas ever. You can have so many different types of models and systems and you can view all of them in detail. So this is the complete anatomy 2021. You can view radiological images in parallel with 3D models. You can open a new world of clinical anatomy with this kind of radiology. You get access to the most 3D realistic parts and you have all of these different parts in the highest detail possible. All of these anatomical spaces and parts. You can follow the path of the cranial nerves and not just the cranial nerves and, and all the veins but all the different types of veins and nerves in the body. That's just one of the systems. You can simulate realistic movements. You can discover different components and systems in micro detail through micro models. You can zoom in and extrude, explore all these systems in micro details. All of this is available in human anatomy. The navigation is pretty simple. You can explore courses, the atlas, the models, and it's available on all the platforms, including Windows, iPad, Mac, Android, and iPhone. It's truly a transformative experience. And I'm not even a doctor. So as soon as you open this app, this is the interface that you're going to see, or the hub. That's the complete anatomy platform. You've got the atlas, the courses, settings, sharing, models, and store. And I'm going to go quickly through each and every one of these things. Let's start with the Atlas. The Atlas provides a comprehensive overview of all of these medical things that you might want to learn about. So for example, if I want to learn about the abdominal esophagus, I click on this and the Atlas tells me all the details and the information of this part, abdominal part of the esophagus, blah, 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 left gastric artery and all of that. And you can click on the screens here on the right side as well. That's going to show you more details. And by the way, it's not just this, it's not, the atlas is not static. You can move the way you want. You see, now I'm moving uh, the model. I'm going to explain how to zoom in and zoom out and move the model. But for now, let's just go with the, with the first part, which is the atlas. So that was the atlas. Then we move on to courses. And you get a variety of courses here, human anatomy courses. This is my favorite, the undergraduate human anatomy. And you've got two types. You've got the systemic and the regional. These are the two different versions of the undergraduate human anatomy course, different points of view of how, how to understand human anatomy. The free lectures are there. I recommend this, highly recommend this for medical students. I mean, if I'm an enthusiast and I thought it was very useful, what about medical students? It comes with exams, with questions, with lecture notes, with um, Look at this. This is 20 to 25 hours of undergraduate anatomy in an interactive lecture-based course uh, studying terminology and tissues within the various systems of the body. So that is the library, the courses, and then if you go back, you got settings. All the different settings are mentioned here. You got sharing, so if you want to share this with somebody, you get started here. Oh yeah, there's store, of course. If you want to buy things here, there's the student, professional, and institutional categories and all the features that you get. And these are the different pricings. So that's for the student. So per year you get, this is the price per year and that's the professional license. Now let's discover the most interesting part of the app, which is the models. 
Now, once you click on the models here, you can see that uh, these are the systems, the different systems of the human anatomy. You've got the skeletal, the connective tissue, the muscular, the arterial, the venous, the lymphatic, nervous, respiratory, digestive, endocrine, urogenital. All of these are the different systems of the human anatomy. First thing that you're going to learn is how to rotate a model. And with a Mac, that can be done with a three finger, so that's how you rotate. And if I want to zoom in, you just pinch zoom. So I'm zooming in right now. Okay, and I'm rotating. So that's zooming in and rotating. That's the skull. If I want to move the object or the model, I can just use two fingers. So this is how you move. You can notice here on the trackpad, I'm moving the model. Let's rotate again. And you can see the incredible details. I mean, look at this. This is magical, man. It's amazing. So if I want to learn about the skull, I just click on it and I get all the different details here. That's the frontal bone. These are quick facts. I can extrude. Look at this. I can dissect. These are the different parts here. You can read about all the different parts here. The cross sections. These give you the cross sections. Okay, but that's, okay, fine. That's a premium feature. So apparently now that's a premium feature. All the details that you ever want to know, I mean, only perhaps medical students and doctors would be interested in this, not normal people like you and me. If you're just a normal person, by normal I mean somebody who's not a medical professional. But the, the features of this app are just incredible. You've got isolate, so I can isolate this part if I want to. And these are the quick facts. If I go back, I can hide it. <laughs> Look at this. He's got no frontal bone. I can hide it. I can fade it if I want to. If I want to see it faded. I can hide all the other parts. Fade the other parts. See, so the other parts are faded. Or I can multi-select. So these are the first features. Okay, back to our beautiful skeleton right here. Remove this. Now these systems here at the bottom you can play with them like you want. For example, if I want to add connective tissue, so that's what it looks like. If you want to add connective tissue, well, that looks a little bit creepy, but that's how it works. Let's add some muscles right there. And the more components you add, the more you can view details here. For example, if I want to know more about this muscle, um, I don't even know how to say that. There is a pronunciation feature right here. Just click on this. Okay, let's make sure we got enough volume. Oh yeah, it's not going to work because the microphone is attached, but there is a beautiful pronunciation feature here as well. So this is the whatever muscle here at the left side. That's pretty cool. All right, let's add more arteries. So if you want to add more arteries, zoom in. Look at that some veins, if I want to add some nerves, look how detailed that thing can become, man. I mean, every single part, a nerve, if I want to the respiratory, but you know what you want, and I think the most important feature here, okay, let's add a little bit of skin, so that's how it looks like with the skin. Okay, if I remove all of these, I don't think you need all of these if you want to put the skin. So that is how the model looks like. This is a human being, and that's how the model looks like. It's very realistic. Look at that. That's very realistic. You can even see the pores. Look at that. This model is ultra realistic, I think. Okay. So if you want to search for something, you go on the right side here, and you search for, for example, let's say I want to find more. I, find, I want to find out more about the heart. You just type in heart and you get all the different systems, the cardiovascular system, the chambers of the heart, heart wall windows, heart and... Okay, so one of the most interesting features for this app is the search feature. So if there's anything that you want to find out more about, just click on search. I type the word heart over here. So if you want to find out more about the heart, that's the heart. These are the quick facts. If you want to know the different cross sections, it'll show you right here. Go back. Okay, so that's how it looks like. If you want to add veins, if you want to add muscles, 
<laughs> and it's going to get more and more complicated. All right, let's remove all the muscles here. Let's remove the veins. I don't want to see all these veins. So you have a lot of detail. If you want to find out, for example, about the heart wall and windows, so that's, that's over there. I'll click on that. That's going to give you all the detailed information. The heart wall window windows follow the standard cuts that are made in anatomy dissections to visualize the internal structures and features of the atria and ventricles. The windows are named as follows. Okay, now I sound like a doctor. Let's not get into details. So that's how it is. Keep in mind, though, that this program is graphics intensive. So you need, you need a pretty good graphics card to run this thing. Um, the more I add, the more systems I add over here, the more, you see that, the heavier it is on your system. So if I add a lot of things, it's going to start getting heavier. I think that's like one of the drawbacks for this app, but I don't think there's getting around that because this is purely 3D. And the more models you activate, the heavier it is on your on your system resources on your graphics card. So that's how it is. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> okay, I don't think our model is the prettiest model right now. Maybe we should go back to the integum, integum oh, how do you even say that? Integumentary. <laughs> I just call it skin. Go back to the skin. Okay, that's our guy. He looks much better than if I turn it on. <laughs> well, that's how you look like from the inside. So, <laughs> okay, now there are different tools in this program. There's the pen tool. So, okay, these things are, I think are going to be used by doctors. I'm, I don't know how to use these things. I've never used these things. I don't think normal people would want to use these things, but I think medical students would want to use these things. There are labels and text boxes, and there are cutting tools if you want to cut something, fracture tools. Maybe that's like for x-rays or you want to show like a bone is fractured or something. Uh, growth tools, God forbid, I think this is for cancer or stuff like that. Spurs, yeah, these things are for problems on, related to the bones. Pain, discover, import. All of these are very useful tools for doctors and medical students. Then you've got the library. The library, like we said, is pretty interesting. Radiology as well. So these are some scans, but these are accessible through the premium version. Um, these are scans. Okay, videos. Videos are also very, very nice. Let's say, for example, we want to find out about root canal therapy. Just click on that. Press play and you're going to start getting all the information. Now, the, the speakers are disabled because the microphone is connected, but you get all the different details in the video, and that's how it works. It shows you how it works. It's going to be details here. So that's video. If we go back to tools, let's go back to connective tissue. All right, we want to see the insides. <laughs> you know what? I want to go back to the clean look. I want to disable all these systems, so I want to go back to the clean. Okay, I want to go back to the clean look. <laughs> Connective tissue. All right, we don't need all of that. I don't need any arterial systems. All right, let's go back to our normal <laughs> skeleton right here. I'm just amazed at how this thing works. For example, that time I was interested in knowing more about the um, the discs in the, in the back, the L5S1. What was it called? Let's go back to the connective tissue. All right, yeah, there you go. These are the discs. Oh, wait a minute. I should, I should add one more layer. Yep, these are the discs. So I wanted to find out more about this. What? Which one is that? Oh, yeah, that's the L4, L5, L3, L4, L2, L3. Let's add a bit of veins here. Okay, that's too much. Maybe you should add a little bit of nerves as well. Okay, I don't want the veins, I want the nerves. So I was able to finally understand how the body works. Look at that. You can see how the veins are entering and exiting these different parts related to the disc here. 
Like you can see that, that's, what is this? This is the, I think that's the spinal cord. And where's the L? Yeah, that's the sciatic nerve. So if you got sciatica, this is where the problem is. And you can, you can isolate it like this. It's, it's incredibly detailed. All right, let's say, for example, this. <laughs> that's pretty cool. If you want to isolate the disc, that's how it looks like. Check that out. This is pretty cool, man. And um, let's see here. If I want, where was that amazing function? There was animations. Let's say, for example, um, arm uh, motions. There you go. Motions. Let's say the biceps forearm. Okay, let's see what that is. So it gives you the animation for that, how it actually moves. Check that out. That's the articulation. That's the joint and the range of motion for the biceps. I think that's pretty cool. And check out all the other motions here. So when you search for something, it gives you the option of, okay, let's, let's type arm again, whether you want to you see structures, whether you want to see motions, these are the different motions, videos, if you want all the different, oh, look at that, single arm, oh, okay, fine, that's the pro version, single arm push-ups, shoulder arm exercises, screens, quizzes, that's pretty interesting, so you also got quizzes, questions, let's see how good my medical knowledge is, questions, which of the following is the largest of the anterior muscles of the arm? Uh, I think I would just go with the biceps. Check answers. And I'm correct, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's it. I, th I should become a doctor. I'm a, I'm a doctor right now. That's it. I'm, I'm a doctor. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Human Anatomy 2021. Human, Complete Anatomy 2021. An amazing program. I think it's a lifesaver for medical prof medical professionals and students and also for enthusiasts if you just want to find out more about the human anatomy and if you want an atlas, a 3D model, this is the best program out there. I've tried and tested different apps, 3D model apps, um, 3D atlas apps like this. This is the best one. And there's an Android version as well. This is the Android version. It's incredibly detailed. It's exactly the same. I mean, it works. Connective tissue, there you go. So if you want that, that works really well. Okay, so all of that, just check that out, man. It's, it's on your phone. All right, there you go. So it's, it's the same model. Whether you want to rotate him here or there, it's exactly the same. Check that out. You got the power of the desktop version in your pocket. I think that's pretty cool. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Enjoy Complete Anatomy 2021.